Agus Wade and welcome everybody to Agus Wade back at Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Wade. In today's video feature, I'm gonna transplant a Malba spinach seedling that grew unexpectedly from the ground to a container. Now you might be wondering why would someone want to transplant a seedling from the ground to a container? Well, the thing is that it grew where I did not want it to grow. Now I had a first Malba spinach seedling which grew there and developed into a big plant, which is this one. It actually grew. I have a swam it. We made soup with it. I shared two pictures I think on our Ghost Backyard Garden Facebook page and by the way if you haven't liked our Facebook page the link is below. Now this plant grew and it produced seeds and then the seeds dropped in the same raised bed. And if you're wondering why it is that this raised bed which is not usually in this position is actually there. Well this is the whole idea. I had to move my raised bed from the position it was before to this position because the thing is that where it was before I want to plant some sweet pepper since my sweet peppers are doing so good in that area so I decided to designate that specific area only for my sweet pepper seedling and obviously I'll do crop rotation but this here yeah, I had to move it so I decided to save the seedlings and transfer them from the ground to a container so let's get to this right now there are two things you need to consider before you transplant your seedling from the soil to a container number one the type of soil. If your soil is sandy, sandy loamy or loamy, you have to ensure that it is as moist as possible and remove the plant to the soil in a ball form as I will demonstrate. If your soil is clayey or clay loamy, it is much easier to move from the soil to the container simply because the soil will hold better around the plant's root system. Secondly, time of day. It is during the day the plant's root system is most active and if you try removing it while the sun is still shining, this may cause the plant to die. Emphasis on May. As a result, the best time to remove the plant from the soil is after the sun has set or on a rainy day. I am using a cutlass to ensure that there are no stones or pebbles around the base of the seedling as I prepare to lift the plant and the soil off the ground. By using the cutlass, it will also help to loosen the soil so that I will be able to lift up the plant and the soil more effectively. I am then using my hands as a clamshell crane to grip the soil and the plant without breaking the soil apart. As I lift the soil, I press tightly to compact the soil. If you look closely, you would have noticed that the first two leaves on the seedling have already started to drop downwards as the plant root system have sensed that it is being tampered with. Please note that the dropping leaves does not mean that the plant is beyond hope of surviving after being transplanted. I now have to ensure that I carefully remove the excess soil around the root system without damaging the plant. With care, I feed the soil into the pot I need to ensure that I press the soil inwards to remove any air pockets and to ensure that the soil fills up the entire pot. I then place the seedling in a half gallon of water for about one hour, after which I moved it to the homemade greenhouse to keep it away from the sun. So guys, that is how you transplant your Malba spinach or most likely any seedling. Thank you for liking our Facebook page. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. And remember, a backyard garden in some way will keep the doctors away. Be encouraged to start your own backyard garden. And Agus Wade is out.